Short grooves. Okay, let's start with the kick and snare. The pattern is two bars long and sounds like this. If you count, the kick lands on beats one, two, the end of three, and beat four of the first bar and beats one and two of the second bar. The snare lands on beat three and the and of four of the first bar, and beat three, beat four, and the E of four of the second bar. Okay, let's isolate the hi-hat and snare now, and then we'll bring the kick back in. The hi-hat plays on beat one, the and and uh of one, beat two, which is an open hi-hat, the and and uh of three, and beat four for the first bar. And for the second bar, the hi-hat plays on beat one, the and and uh of one, beat two, the and of two, then the e and and uh of beat three, then the and of four. Sounds like this. Notice that the last string of notes, that E and and uh of beat three, we play the first two notes as doubles with the right hand and the last note with the left. That frees up our right hand to play the snare on four. If you haven't built up your ability to play doubles with power and clarity, you won't be able to make this part sound good. So check out the doubles module of my Better Hands course for a lesson and exercises and get your doubles sounding better. All right, let's bring the kick back in. Here's how it sounds all together. <laughs> 